up? It's Elaine. And as you guys see, the blush, the heart blush, it's my first time doing it, but I think it's like, okay. And, but anyways, as you guys know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm going to do a, a nail vlog. I've never done one, but I'm going to try. Well, for nails, I'm not like that good, but I've always been interested in it. And I've been doing nails ever since like third, fourth grade, even though my mom hated it, I just did it anyways. And then I used to do a lot of like nail art, like do draw a lot of sponge of stuff. But ever since senior year, I started to do just one color because I was kind of lazy. But today, Oremane, I am going to do nail art. Well, I'm going to show you guys all the steps I do to do my nails. I actually don't go to salons. I always do my nails by myself because honestly, it's too expensive. When I can just do it at home, you know? Well, these are how my nails are looking right now. They're kind of pretty long, so I'm going to shape them because they're out of shape right now. And then go do art. So let's go. Hello hands. Well for today, I'm going to use these two stickers, pink and like a pink sparkle and this red and a clear top coat and this super old beige clear color and a nail filer. And you can find the product information in the description box below, so check that out. I was debating whether to do it like square or almond shape, but I decided with a square. As you guys see, I have a really curled nails. So I'm just going to make that a little bit straight. This is how it's looking. It's not perfect, but this will do. Now I'm going to apply my pink. This actually comes with a nail filer and a alcohol pad. I'm going to open this and I'm going to look for the one that is the size of my pinky. I did this kind of wrong, so don't copy this one. This is a bad tutorial. Yes. So as you see, I have to take off the sticker on the back, but I did it after all. And it's like a dry nail polish sticker and I just put it on and it's dry. I don't need to wait for anything. It's just dry and done. Good to go. Sorry, I'm like out of frame, but as you see, there's like wrinkles, right? But then I could just take it off and put it back, which is really cool. I don't know how this works, but it's science, you know? And I'm just gonna clip this off and I really don't wanna waste this. So I usually like to do a French tip with the leftover, just like that. And with the nail filer, I'm just gonna Get rid of the axis. And that's how it looks. Now for my ring nail, I'm just gonna put that beige clear color. I didn't want like a clear clear color. This is that's why I chose this color. And it's kind of old, but it will do. Next for my middle finger, I'm going to put this sparkly nail polish. And this one is the correct instructions, so yeah. Bam, yes. And there was a little problem with this one. I actually opened this nail polish one year ago, so it got a little bit hard. So it was a little bit hard to apply it. So I decided to clip it off to make it easier and then file it. And later I put a top coat and it like softened and it worked perfectly fine. Next for my thumb, I'm going to put a pink nail polish. And bam, just apply it. And if there's wrinkles, I just take it off and reapply it. And these are really stretchy too. And I clip it off and you know where the leftover is going. Next for my ring finger, I'm going to draw some hearts with the red nail polish. Bam. I was actually gonna draw a lot of hearts but after drawing one heart, I thought it was really cute, so I decided to just go with one. Now for my right hand, it's like halfway done thanks to my left hand. I just decided to put hearts for two fingers. And since this is old and it was a little cakey, I put top coat over it to smooth it out. And also did the French tip to give a little glow. And I really didn't know what color to do for my index finger. So I decided to go with this girl. 
and I started to draw a heart in the left bottom corner. And it was really hard. Do you see my hand shaking? Yes, you do, because I do. And this is how it turned out. It was really weird, but then it was okay. And then for my thumb, I put it in the right bottom corner because I wanted the thumb to face me. And the thumb works really well, so I use the same technique for my fourth finger again. And now I apply the second layer for my index finger. And I didn't want that green thinking to be there, so I removed it. And this is how my nails are looking. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and comment.